Mention the phrase open position to a guitar player and odds are good that the first things that come to mind are beginner's lessons or strumming cowboy chords. But considering some of the greatest licks ever played have come from those first few frets and open strings, that's an unfair assessment. Hi, I'm Tom Kolb and in this lesson I'm going to show you 11 classic open licks from blues, rock, country, and bluegrass legends. So grab your flat pick and prepare to ring some strings. <laughs> From the pioneering acoustic bluesmen like Charlie Patton and Robert Johnson, to the early electric blues of Muddy Waters and John Lee Hooker, to modern masters like Stevie Ray Vaughan and Joe Bonamassa, the guitar's open position has been a breeding ground for timeless blues licks. This first lick, an E minor pentatonic line played over an E7 chord, is heard in various forms in the work of John Lee Hooker, Muddy Waters, and countless others. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Here's that lick a little slower. One, two, three, four. Our second open position blues lick, also played over an E7 chord, builds on the foundation of lick one, adding the bluesy flat fifth and a cool trill. This chopsy lick is in the style of the great blues technicians Stevie Ray Vaughan and Joe Bonamassa. One, two, three, four. The rhythms in this lick might prove a bit tricky at first, so start slowly and get the feel right. Here it is again a little slower. One, two, three, four. Our next open position blues lick offers up a cool major tonality over E7. Inspired by the Texas cannonball Freddie King, the lick draws from the E major pentatonic scale in the first bar and first beat of the second bar before switching to the combined E major minor pentatonic scale for the closing phrase. Here's the lick. One, two, three, four. Here's that again, a little slower. One, two, three, four. Borrowing largely from the blues world, rock guitarists, especially classic rockers, are also quite capable of exploiting the first five frets on the guitar. It should be noted that most open position rock licks you hear are likely being played over an E minor, E5, or E7 chord. So we're going to focus exclusively on rock licks in E. Our first rock lick is in the style of the great Jimi Hendrix, one of the most exciting open position rock guitarists ever. For a change of pace, this lick in E is in 12-8 time, a favorite slow blues vehicle for Hendrix. Dig the D to E trill that closes the lick, another favorite move of Hendrix. One, two, three, four. If you're not comfortable counting rhythm in 12-8, try thinking of it as four beats of eighth note triplets. Here's a lick again, slowed down a bit. One and a two and a three, a four and a... Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page is a master riffer, and his short bluesy licks reflect his knack for gritty hooks. This lick comes straight out of the E blues scale with a tension raising slow bend up to the fifth to cap it all off. A one, two, three, four. Here's that again played slowly. One, two, three, four. Our third and final rock lick comes from Down Under. Aussie rockers ACDC have made a career of pounding out open position power chords, and lead guitarist Angus Young knows just what to do with those big E5 chords. In this lick, rather than sticking to the E minor pentatonic scale, we're going hybrid, adding in the sixth, C sharp, and the ninth, F sharp, for added flair. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here that is slowed down. One, two, three, four. Next, we're going to take a look at some open position country licks. Hot country guitar was born when fret burners like Jimmy Bryant, Joe Mathis, and even Chet Atkins took to playing fiddle tunes on the guitar, mostly in open position. A good number of country licks are played in the keys of G, C, and A, as those are the most popular country keys. Our first lick is a descending gem called from the blues Mixolydian hybrid scale. One, two, three, four. And here's that lick slowly. One, two, three, four. This next lick is a slippery sounding legato line in the key of C. Be sure you don't rush the slides at the start of the lick. One, two, three, four. Here it is again slowly. One, two, three, four. Our third and last country lick is a Chet Atkins inspired barn burner. This phrase entails a descending sequence of triplet pull offs to open strings. One, two, one, two, three, four. These types of fast pull-off licks are easy ones to rush, so pay strict attention to your time. Here's the lick again a little slower. One, two, three, four. The last two licks in this lesson come from the bluegrass world. With much of its repertoire coming from traditional fiddle tunes, it's little surprise that bluegrass guitarists are among the most proficient open position flat pickers you'll find. Guitarist Lester Flatt of the legendary bluegrass duo of Flatt and Scruggs devised this first lick and played it so famously that it's become known as a Lester Flatt run. Here it is in the key of G. One, two, three, four. And let's slow that down a little. One, two, three, four. Our final lick comes from bluegrass guitar legend Doc Watson. Called from the C major blues scale, this line craftily inserts the flat third as a passing tone twice in its descent. One, two, three, four. For easiest execution, begin the lick with your hand in third position and immediately shift down to open position on the end of B2. Here it is slowly. One, two, three, four. Well, there you have it, 11 licks from four different genres with the singular purpose of showing you that there's a whole lot more to open position than strumming folk tunes. Regardless of the style of music you play, next time you're improvising, give some love to those first few frets and open strings, and your reward will ring out loud and proud. <laughs>